Hey guys, thank you for tuning in with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the most used commands in Linux. I'm going to be using Kali Linux today, but you can use any flavor that you want. The commands are pretty much the same. I would recommend using a Debian OS, like Kali Linux is Debian based. Remember, Linux is the kernel. The operating system, the application, the OS is Kali Linux. Right, Kali, and then I'm sure you guys know that. If you don't, that's that is the difference. But like I said, in this video, we're going to go about some basic commands in Linux, learning how to use them, what they mean, and when to use them. Right? Why should you use ls in this, you know, in this directory? Or what are you trying to do? What is the outcome? What is the goal? Right? So that's pretty much what this video is going to be about. And if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. If there's any commands that I missed or that I didn't mention, please feel free to put it in the comments for other folks to learn and to understand. There's millions of commands, but I'm going to go through maybe the top 10, 20 that I think that I use on a daily basis that I think is very useful. So let's get into it, all right? I have the list over here. I have a massive amount of of commands in, in my cheat sheets, but I figured I'd just put together an easy peasy video and you guys can see and how to use these commands, all right? So let me pull that up. I'm pulling up on my screen over here. I have multiple screens or, you know, going on around here. So the very first command that I would recommend learning is ls. This is probably the most frequent command used. So anytime you, you know, type, you're like, okay, ls, ls is pretty much listing everything in that directory, right? So in my Kali home, which will be the next command that we use, is pwd, right? So that's print working directory. So this is pretty much what directory are we in when we're working, right? And why is that, you know, good to know? In my opinion, I never remember where I put documents, right? So you can use locate. That's another one. For example, locate. I want to locate rocku.txt. That's a word list in Kali Linux. If I hit locate, okay, perfect. Now this is where it is, user share word list rocku.txt, right? So now this, I can copy this, and if I'm running Hydro, this is way out of this. But if I'm running a password cracking tool, or if I'm running some kind of, you know, I need that word list, or that password list, I want to use that directory where I'm going to point it to. So understanding where you're currently working and how to navigate, which we'll get into that command next, which is CD, right? Which is change directory, right? So we're, we did three commands already, right? LS, uh, PWD, and locate, right? So say, for example, I want to go into hack the box, right? I want to go ahead. I want to CD to hack the box. And now if I do another LS, because that's probably the, like I said, the most frequent command you're going to use, we have access active that word, uh, ODAT, PAT, time lapse. So, excuse me, sorry. So PAT, I just created as a temp, like as a, you know, test folder, right? So now what we can do is cd into that, right? Let's cd into pat. We can do another ls, and we have an infosec pat document. I don't know what's in there, right? So there's another command we can use, which is pat, c-a-t, right? That's catenating the file that we can see what's inside of it. So if we cat infosec pat, it says, please like, comment, and sub, subscribe. So please do it. If you like this video, remember, watch it till the end and you can learn all these different cool commands. So I think it's going to be very useful. These are useful commands when I started, what I still use on a daily basis as a regular user. So why not transfer that knowledge, correct? All right, so the next one on my list is move, right? So MV, so we can move or rename files on Linux, right? So say for an example, I want to move 
MV infosec pat to something like uh, YouTube.txt, right? Whoops, no, 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 sorry. I spelled that wrong, whoops, no. All right. Let's do a clear so I can stop from, clear is another one that you're gonna use frequently. So let's go ahead and move MV, not MC, okay? So now we can do ls, and now we have youtube.txt. Now we can cat YouTube, and still says the same thing. So again, please like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. Hit the, all the bells and whistles. All right, so say for example, we wanna remove this file, right? We can take that file and get rid of it, right? So we can do rm YouTube. Now we can do it ls, it's gone, right? So those are very, very useful commands, right? So let's do, and you can also do control L on your keyboard and go all the way up to the top, clear out everything. That's another cool, cool thing. So now we, we removed it, we moved, we made a directory, we did a CD, PWD. So now if we wanna create a blank document, right? And then we can modify it later if we want to do, do that. We can do touch. I'm going to put YouTube. If I can spell. Dot txt. So now we can do an ls, and now I just created that file. There's nothing in it, right? So we can do nano. YouTube. There's nothing in this file. So now I can say this is the new file. Please like, comment, and share with your network. Okay, now I can do a control X. Yes. Now I can LS, and now I can cat YouTube, and it says, this is a new file, please like, subscribe, whatever, everything I just wrote, right? So, now I can just do a clear. So that's the touch command, right? So then we can make that file and we can use nano. That was the next one I was doing, gonna do, nano. So nano is a word, a, a word processing or, or notepad type uh, application that you can you know, make notes and save it. There's Vim, there's all these other ones, but I like nano because it's very straightforward. Easy peasy, simplicity is the best thing, right? <clears throat> so the next one I have here is clear. So clear, like say for example, we're doing this, ls, blah, 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 cat, YouTube. And now instead of doing control L, we can do clear. And that just brings everything, clears the terminal display, brings you back up to the top. Okay. So another one we can do is the echo command. So echo goes heads and print any, any text that's allowed on the command, right? So let's do, oops, let's go here, sorry. Echo YouTube, and then it's just YouTube, because YouTube.txt is pretty much what we're, what, what we're echoing, right? So you can do echo, the, 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 main, the main hello world, and now it says hello world. You know, so it's pretty much just printing any text that we write, okay? So we'll do a few more. So the next one we'll do is, so we just did echo. We can do the man pages. So the man pages are super important. So this is gonna go ahead and access the manual page of an application. So say for example, we do, um, so we do man uh, and map, right? So this is gonna show us everything for Nmap. And Nmap is a network mapper. This is, goes beyond this video. But we can go and check out everything that's associated with this manual, right? So you can just, you can just hit escape or Q to quit. All right, let's press Q. Okay. And now we're back into terminal. Then we can do a control L, clear the terminal, and call it a day. So the next one we can use is uname. 
right? So you name is going to show you the Linux distro, right? Like it's going to show you just the basic, you know, what is what is your name? So we do you name dash h or dash dash help. We can see everything that's associated with you name. So say for example, we want to print all the information about this operating system. So let's do that. Let's clear. So now we have Kali Linux 6.0.0, Kali, blah, blah, blah. So we can see everything is here, it's Debian. So we have that every, everything there in front of us. So this is a, a very handy command that you can utilize, you know, if you like. The next one I have here is who am I? This is gonna get who is the active user, right? So who am I? Root. Root is gonna be the active user that's running on this machine. And if we, for example, log out, we log back in, it's gonna be Kali, right, in my case. So next one is grep. So this is gonna go ahead and search a string within a file, for an example. So let's go back, let's do an LS, we have YouTube, right? Let's cat YouTube since we have that knowledge now, right? So say for an example, we want to, we want to look at comment, okay? So let's clear this out. And we want to pipe grep comments. And it's gonna highlight here everything that's associated that says comments. So this is, you know, I use grep a lot. Like say for example, we go back to the man pages, right? So let's go ahead and let's go back to man and map, and then we can grep, for example, OS. We can say, okay, OS detection, uh, everything that says OS for operating system, you know? So you can see, okay, OS here, you know, the whole shebang, dash O enables OS detection, so on and so forth. So this is very, very useful if you're looking at a huge document or a huge file and that you just wanna, you know, parse through that, right? Okay, so I think that should be it. You know, obviously there's some network commands. There's, you know, we'll do a few network commands. So say for an example, I wanna know what IP address I'm running, right? I like the old school way is this, if I can spell, if config, right? If config is just gonna show the interface configuration, like inet1, my IP address is 172.16.1.36. But the new school way is, let's do IPA, and this is like the new school way, right? So we can see the same thing. We have the same IP address with slash 24, so I can know I'm on a 24-bit mask. We have the, you know, the um, MAC address here, the broadcast, et cetera, IPv6, IP, so that's another one. And then say we want to do we want to do a trace route. So trace route tells you how many hops. In Windows, it's trace cert. But in, say for example, we do trace route to Google, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show me each hop that it takes me to get to Google, right? So that's obviously, you know, there's no hops in between here. It's going to keep going and going and going, but trace route is definitely a good network utility to know. And then we'll do two more. We'll do ping. For example, ping 8.8.8.8. So this is going to go ahead and ping out to the internet or ping out to the host. In this case, it's Google. And we can do, oops, we can ping the DNS. So we can ping Google. And then we can see that it's resolving Google. Okay. So let's call it quits there. And, uh, I think that should be it. And another cool, another last one, I have what is. So what is finds out what the command is used for. So what is nmap? Okay, nmap is a network exploitation tool and security port scanner. So if you have no idea what the tool is or what your, you know, what the program is, you can do what is 
I think that's a fantastic tool. I do it a lot. And there's other ones that are like PS, so I can see what processes are running. This is another one that shows you active processes. And top is another good one I like. It shows you, you know, the, the live sessions or the live system usage, you know, from top to bottom. So top is also another good tool. But that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, if you have any cool commands that I missed or may be helpful to others, throw it in the comments, right? So until next time, have a beautiful day, happy holidays, and stay safe, folks.